the political positioning here at home to the political battle overseas in Israel. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's current 12-year grip on power may soon be coming to an end. Let's bring in our senior foreign correspondent, Ian Panel. Ian, the coalition that could take over is a strange mix, but they seem to have one thing in common. Tell us about that. Yeah, that's right. It's a very strange mix. I mean, it literally spans the spectrum from far left to far right uh, and also from uh, Arab Israeli to Jewish Israeli. Um, so, yes, there are a lot of different views there. But this was primarily about a get BB campaign, get out. Prime Minister Netanyahu, who's been in power 15 years overall, but certainly has been in office for the last 12 years. He's Israel's longest serving prime minister. He's the face of Israel for many of us who live overseas. He's represented Israeli foreign policy. He's certainly represented Israel in terms of Middle East policy. Um, but he has become increasingly unpopular. He's also been under uh, legal problems. He's faced charges of corruption, fraud and bribery. Those charges are still there. They may well accelerate. He was trying to get parliamentary immunity. That, of course, is not now going to happen. There's still a uh, parliamentary process that has to get underway, whereby this vote, this agreement, this coalition government has to be ratified. That's going to take place probably in the next week uh, to two week period. Uh, it looks as though all the members of the coalition will agree to that. But if one, only one member of those parties, and this is how fine the coalition is, decides not to agree uh, to the new coalition forming a government, then potentially we go back to a fifth election uh, in, in really over the last 12 month period. And of course, so many are wondering if those stalled peace efforts between the Israelis and Palestinians can ever be revived. Talk to us more about who the next leader of Israel could be and the fact that that position may alternate. Yeah, I, I think, and this is why it's important to stress that this has been primarily a campaign to try and remove uh, Benjamin Netanyahu from power. Uh, because what I don't think we're going to see in terms of the international stage, in terms of foreign policy, is any substantial change. So there's a four-year term for the new government. The first two years are going to be held by Naftali Bennett, who used to be a close aide to Benjamin Netanyahu, who himself has described himself as further to the right than Netanyahu. For example, he believes that the West Bank, uh, East Jerusalem and the Golan Heights should all be part of Israel. He doesn't believe in the two-state solution uh, and he also is an advocate of settlements. Uh, the expansion of settlements into Palestinian territory, which again uh, is against international law. So in many positions, he's much more hardline, but he's probably going to have to temper that because the real kingmaker here is Yair Lapid, who takes over the second two years. His bloc got uh, the, the majority bloc uh, in the last election, something like 18 seats. Um, he is a much more uh, of a moderate. He believes in the two-state solution. And I think the question is, uh, and we always see this with Israeli politics, because it's always proportional representation, there's always tight coalition governments, um, how much he's able to influence the policies of the new government and how much Naftali Bennett is. All of them must have made concessions, significant concessions. We're seeing the presence of an Arab Islamist party in the coalition government, the first time that's ever happened. This is about trying to boost representation for Israeli Arabs. That's also absolutely key. So it's going to be a fascinating period. But you're also going to see Bibi, Benjamin Netanyahu, in opposition and we know he's not going to go quietly the new government is going to be uh, essentially only have a wafer thin majority and you would imagine that netanyahu is going to try and do his damnedest to try and unseat it and force yet another election lindsay yes yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how this all shakes out ian panel our thanks to you Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.